ready to get a car fixed, time to do a Q&A session. So, Jeff Morgan says, what do you get breeding two Isabella dogs? Um, Isabella dogs. Yes, absolutely. Breed two blue dogs together, get blue dogs. Two pink dogs, get two pink dogs. I mean, you know, if they're the same, two if they're- Two creams, two creams. Two creams, exactly. If, if they're the same, then they're gonna get exactly the same thing. It's when you've got different DNA between the two dogs and things vary, but, but the answer to that is you get two, Is you get Isabella's. Uh, question if my stud can, oh my goodness, got a long thing here. Where you, uh, you've got a person here who's got a blue dog that carries cream, blue and tan dog that carries cream, cocoa, and intensity. What should my dame carry? Well, it depends on which of these colors you want to develop. But I mean, you can get blue dogs, you can get a chocolate with blue, carrying blue and carrying cream, yep. vice versa. Yep, you can use blues, chocolates, all with tan points, Tans, platinums, basic creams, lilacs. fawns, all of those things can be had. I mean, I would go with the highest level up the ladder you can get to, and I'd go all the way up to platinum. So I'd breed to a platinum, and out of that, you get some blues, you get some uh, uh, blues covered in cream, you get some lilacs, you get some, uh, and you get some platinums. So that's my view. Grizzly Dean. Hey, Grizzly Dean. I've read online that not to let a dog, a female, swim when she's in heat. At what point? At what point do you think it'd be okay to swim again? Uh, I just never asked that one before. What's your thought on that, Tammy? Oh, I wasn't listening. I was watching these cars. Wait, should what you let it? a dog swim while it's in heat? And if not, when should you let a dog swim? Why? It's the problem. Sharks. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you'd let them swim in the water in heat. <laughs> Women swim in the ocean. Yeah. I, I, I think it's fine. I mean, look, I mean, if you're concerned about this, where's the dog swimming? If this dog's swimming in a lake, it's definitely a lot more pathogens than that there is in a swimming pool. The swimming pool's chlorinated. If it's in your swimming pool, I don't think it's any problem at all. I think it's great exercise for a dog. There's no, um, you know, it's the best exercise a dog can actually get, you know, because there's no strain on tummies and joints and everything else. Um, but, but, you know, if you're worried about this, look, the cervix is slightly open while this is going on. And I would think that, the, you know, when you show first signs of blood, if you wait till two and 21 days, three weeks later, the whole thing's gone away completely. But I don't think you have to worry about this. And look, if you're swimming in ponds and things like that, just stop doing that. Swimming, swimming pools is But <laughs> Tammy's right. You don't want a blood trail because those sharks, they love a Frenchie. Especially in a swimming pool. Yeah, especially in a swimming pool, right. Joanna M says, excellent presentation. Oh, there's pros and cons of having a stud dog. It says, uh, I never keep a, ne I will never keep a stud again. Finding a suitable good stud dog can also be difficult. Well, you've got to come to us, don't you? We've got 23 of them. That's what we do. There's some people that can do this successfully, and there's, you know, some people that don't. It's you find that out by trial and error. Whoa, 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 stud dog. <laughs> Coming across the whole thing. Don't want the whole one. Oh, he's on the phone. No. So he's we. looking down. <laughs> Well, you are, not me. True. Not me. Uh, oh, I've got a thing here about knowing when your girl is pregnant. Imran Bin Kwamarudin says, This is really sad, unhappy face. I think my bully is also not pregnant, but my cat is pregnant. Oh, yeah, well, you. Sometimes, sometimes you got to go with the punches, don't you? Roll with the punches. Lont Long. I had to roll with the punches. My female didn't get pregnant, and I was no. expecting fluffy carriers. Yes, Lont Long. Well, we've bred a late too. Don't we? But Lont Long, determining when whelp date should be. Should we use the first AI date or the last AI date? Well, you're kind of missing the point of that video a little bit. Well, maybe it wasn't that video. I got a video that it's it's got the word loose in it, like lose. Don't lose puppies by whelping early or something like that. So I would go review that. But the point here is is you cannot accurately predict whelp date purely off anything like AI data ovulation. It just gives you a time frame when you should be looking at all the signs to decide when to do a C-section. So you start that on the first AI date. It's 63 days from ovulation, or 61 days from the first AI date. It gives you the window of opportunity, and that's all it is. It is not a specific date. If you, if you start timing things based on that, 
20% of you will have a bad outcome from it. That's the problem. Brett Brudeau, 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 Brudeau says, regarding health panel, I saw your video on DM. What about the allergenic health test tests that can be tested? I would love to see a full video. I will do a full video on this because I haven't done one. So there's, you know, there's four or five panel health tests. We're getting more and more and more of these health tests coming up. I think some of it's just maybe an opportunity for uh, to increase your uh, uh, DNA testing bill, honestly. But you know, there's, there's, there are some arguments in both directions. I'll do a video on this. Susan Brocksmith, many people are asking about animal genetics getting DNA incorrect lately, especially fluffy and fluffy carriers. Have you, had of the, have you heard of this or had any problems? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm, you know, you I got to know the parent's DNA to yeah. figure out if they got it wrong or if they got it right. Yeah. Have so, them redo it. They'll redo it. Yeah. So uh, um, animal genetics, they are good people. And if you have a problem, then they will, you know, work with you to try to resolve it with either a retest and another DNA sample in. There can be problems where you can get your DNA sample contaminated. So depending on how you, for instance, if you're doing a DNA swab, the dog's got to be at least six, world and six weeks old and not nursing on mum anymore for that to be accurate. If you're doing a pin, if you're doing a pin prick in the paw, use a fresh needle or at the very least take some alcohol and clean that needle off between pin pricks because you well, can cross contaminate that way. Now. Flipping. Yeah, so too what, short to make it bleed. So the problem you get into is when you've got a puppy that's like two weeks old, um, it's difficult to prick that. You can't clip a nail and you can't do a swab. So, in those situations, a poor, a poor prick, they don't like it. I much sooner that you did a dewclaw you removal, can but you can do it. Nail. Can you? Yeah, that age. Yeah, Tammy's saying you can do it. So, okay, all right, so we'll take Tammy's advice on that. But so but do cause better, you know. The, the thing that I've three seen. Three or four days old, a vet will do it for you at the birth, but you've got to make sure you got the right little envelopes for each one to go into. Yeah. To know what, which puppy belongs to which do call. Yeah, so the, the problem with this I've, we've seen is the. It's a couple of bucks of puppy, I think. Fluffy gene is the thing that we've seen the biggest mistakes on fluffy. In fact, we've got one going on right now uh, with animal genetics over some. Um, Animal genetics in the UK and animal genetics in Florida come up with different results on the same dog for the fluffy gene. So you know it's like that's not good. Who do you? So the problem with this, you start to lose confidence. You know, you just don't know whether or not you can trust the results. So you know, I hear what you're saying, and there is an issue with this. And I don't know if it's just animal genetics. Uh, I think but, UC um, Davis gets it wrong every once in a while too. I mean, they're only human, and people make mistakes. And but that's why you need to know both sides of parents. Yes. Yeah, the more DNA, that you know that yeah. what you're expecting so that you can confirm with what you're getting, right, I think, is right. better, yeah. Uh, okay, so here's one. Whoops, no, I've lost it. Darn it. Sorry, folks. You look bouncy. Yeah, okay. um, sorry. Uh, Susan asked Blackjack, I thought it was Johnny Cash. It is Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash is our new full double A recessive black, full fluffy. Oops, he looks like an absolute woolly bear. Got him from Gabe and so happy with him. Just did a pull from him a couple days ago yeah. for his first test and he did pull, correct, collect and produce uh, viable, well, he produced good looking uh, sample but there wasn't a lot of it. So we're at about the point where Almost. we've got half what we need we're going to start working with every week. I suspect within a month he'll be online. Yeah. Uh, Trent M. Question. Are you guys looking into getting a future stud that is uh, basically a boat, it, well, what we call a new shade? The answer is we've got one. We've got a new boy. His name is uh, Shiner. Shiner is cute as heck. Double intensity. Very oh, small cobby beautiful, dog. Beautiful, beautiful eyes. His like a yeah, he is. He's yes. blue, little d, little d. His little b, little b test for chocolate is little co, little co. Um, uh, he's from SA and Harry's oh, Cream. What's the name? 80, 80, 80? I think so. ATA or 8080? You'll have to check. Yeah, anyway, he's a new shade, uh -huh. and his daddy is SA, SA and his granddaddy is. Yeah. Homie. Think, yes, homie, homie, yes. out of the UK, and he is the and very first. If you first... know what those dogs are, you know 
know how bully those dogs are. Yeah, and this is the this is the he, first he is small. The, he this dog, China, our dog, is the very first one of that lineage in the in the USA. So he is he was an expensive dog and he's worth every penny of it, we hope. We'll see what he produces. Oh, he's gorgeous. He's an absolutely gorgeous looking dog. Right. Small, cobby, got everything you want structure wise, got everything you want DNA wise. And more. <laughs> yep, so we expect great things from him. We is now he's about six months old. Yeah. So he's a couple of months to start working with him and we'll see what he can do for us. So we're getting close. Adrian Espiano. This is the last one on this one. Ask the question. Uh, one cc of semen with a surgical AI, is there a 1% chance of success? I like your numbers. Well, look, you know, so you didn't say what the modal, you didn't say what the, since it's with a surgical, I would think that the vet would look at it to know that there's a problem. And so the report should give you total number count of semen and total motility. So, what are you looking for? Normally, you want to see 200 million with a 90% motility, you're good to go on any kind of an AI. If more, great. Less, not so good. So now you are, probably with one CC, I'm guessing that you might be down to half those numbers. Um, but since you're doing a surgical, the semen doesn't have to travel up the vaginal tract and it goes directly into the uterus. And you can absolutely get away with an inferior quality sample and still get a good litter. So will you get away with one cc? Maybe. But it's a lot better than 1%. You know, uh, certainly a lot better than 1%. But exactly where you are just depends on what that modal count was. If you had 100 million semen, uh, you know, viable semen, you're probably going to get good results. Now, if you're down to 30, uh, I don't know about that. That's, that's in the small litter, no litter category. So there we go. There's another 12 minutes of your time completely wasted. And uh, we'll Hopefully catch you on not. the... Catch hey, ATAT. Blue and tan quad boy. He needs a home. Please call me. And he's ready to go now. 580-799-1910. And he, since he's a blue and tan quad, he can make you blue and tans, chocolate cans, lilac and tans, and platinums. So he is available. Phone number again, 580-799-1910. Thank you. See you, everybody. Bye. Bye.